Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for your Awesome Cast Mini Bike for today. AwesomeCast.net if you want to find out more about what we're doing over here in Pittsburgh. Today, uh, very excited to see, um, um, I was reading through the news for the week and saw this piece uh, by The Verge. Obama appoints Silicon Valley veteran as the first chief data scientist. Very, very interesting. Uh, we know we, Obama has been chiming in a lot on technology uh, matters, uh, including uh, net neutrality on the uh, the Title II, things like that. Um, who did they get? Who did they get for this new new job? You know, uh, it's uh, DJ Patil, a veteran of tech and internet companies, uh, according to The Verge, uh, Skype. PayPal, eBay, LinkedIn. He was appointed to the role by President Obama this week. Um, so and the, the, the actual full title is Chief Data Scientist and Deputy Chief Technology Officer for Data Policy. Um, I like this. It's a, it's a top-down approach, and that needs to happen when it comes to technology. If we want to, uh, as they say in the article uh, from the administration, become, still be a world technology leader in this country, um, but we have lawmakers that don't understand technology limiting that which has happened, and as we discussed briefly on AwesomeCast, seems to happen a lot in California on the consumer level. Um, this this needs to be influenced, again, from the top down um, to, to hopefully you know spur a little bit, and, and, and they're talking about in this about Washington itself becoming uh, a tech leader and becoming having a problem attracting those kinds of talents over there in D.C. Um what do I think about this? Uh, I, I think when you look at, uh, it, this is on a different level, but here in Pittsburgh, uh, we've had this new Mary Pill Peduto. Good old, this really nice that he's visited us at Chachi Plays and such. I'll, I'll admit that. Um, but uh, I love his approach. I love the data-driven approach, the transparency approach that he's had, that his platform was on, and he has executed, began to execute. There's so much coming up that he's probably not even going to be in his administration, I'm sure. Um, but seeing seeing a lot of change in that, so using technology, harnessing the local technology leaders in like in parts CMU and other companies, right? Um, to kind of spur that, you know, I can now bring up a website that tracks a snowplow to see if they've been in my neighborhood recently, whether I'm leaving or coming home, to see if I'm going to have problems on these crazy ass hills here in Beachview incredible and i think uh to a certain point we've seen uh our technology problems including the execution of healthcare.gov um in recent years and seeing how fl you know botched that is typical uh uh from my understand government contract bloatware uh, turning into what it turned into, right? Um, and maybe having more people like this and the CTO, uh, Megan Smith, for the White House and, you know, up top influencing those kinds of decisions and say, oh, no, we shouldn't do it that way. And I know certain things and certain mechanisms, certain old boys clubs are in place that are going to keep that from happening uh, as efficiently as it could. But at least there's somebody driving the bus towards something better. What do you think about this? What do you think about this title of the new uh, chief data scientist and deputy chief technology officer for data policy? Did how is data in there? How many times? Um, let me know what you think about this new position. You think it's good that the government is uh, at least getting some some good heads at the top of the food chain, um, or uh, is this another just thing? government political thing i know you're going to get political on this I, I know i can't deny it i'm trying to look at it from a tech angle more than anything but have at it hit me up on the comments on youtube at awesomecast on twitter and then we'll see you next time this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatronmedia.com